Hey folks, welcome to another Triple T Thursday. For those just joining us, that's Tools, Tips, and Talk, where we'll discuss info for the knife maker. In today's episode, I thought I would do something a little different. I had a viewer, a longtime viewer, Dan, reach out to me and uh, ask me for something. And Dan, like myself, works in the corporate world. Yeah, I have a day job. This is just a hobby. Uh, I work in high tech and I manage a bunch of engineers. Uh, and Dan is doing a kickoff for his company. Uh, and it's, it's about uh, bringing teams together and forging them into one company. So that's a cool motif for layered Damascus. So, or layered steel, whatever you want to call it. So he asked me, do I have any end cuts with copper in them that we could show a layered forged piece of steel? So uh, I did have this little piece. So what I'm going to do, I think this is from one of the K bars. Um, no, actually, I don't remember what this one's from. Um, so what I'm gonna do is pretty this up a little bit, put some bevels on it so you see the levels. We're gonna etch it, we're gonna send it off to him. Thanks folks, let's take a look. So here's the piece we're actually gonna use. Um, just because uh, after etching, this one is actually Damascus and the other one is not. So this is what we're gonna use. We're gonna clean it up on the grinder, put some nice bevels in it, and uh, it should show off really nicely. So I've got a 36 grit belt here and I'm just taking off all the scale and just kind of fixing the profile and making it all nice and even and symmetrical. Once in a while, it's just fun to do these non-knife projects, just to work on your creativity and do something different for a change. This is an offcut from the K-Bar build. The reason it has a hole in it is because it's one of the test pieces I use to test the hot bluing or blackening process. Here I'm using a 120 grit belt just to clean up the edges. I really didn't want to have to do any hand sanding on this, so it's a belt finish all along. Here I'm using the rest from Contender Machine Works. I've got it set up at a 65 degree angle just so I can put some nice bevels. Uh, link down below for, uh, for how you get this rest. It was fine when I did the first bevel, but after I did the first side, I didn't have enough material to just keep this level. So that's why I had to put this sheet metal so I could get really close to the belt. Here's the finished piece. Uh, it's been ground down to son of a it's been ground on the grinder to 800 grit so now I'm gonna go and etch it this is the ferric chloride I use specifically for copper because uh, the copper will stain the chloride let's give it a dip We'll leave it in there for a couple of minutes and see how it goes. There it is after the etch. Um, it's a little gray. Uh, that's because it wasn't heat treated, but um, that's fine. I think it still looks really cool. Nice and shiny. Let's get some mineral oil on this. And that will shine it up even nicer. Oh yeah, look at that. Very cool. All right. It's a cool little uh, little pendant. It's a little heavy for an actual pendant, but uh, it, um, it will serve its purpose. Thanks for joining me in this fun little build, folks. I uh, had a fun time doing it, and Dan, I hope you use it in your company presentation, and it works out well. So just something else I wanted to mention, uh, we just hit the 75,000 subscriber uh, mark on the channel and that's a huge achievement. 
Uh, my goal was 10,000 by the end of 2021, and uh, we blew that out of the water. So thank you all for watching. Uh, something special that I'm planning since we talked about off cuts of uh, Damascus and things like that today, all of this is off cuts from old projects. What I'm going to do for 100,000 subscribers is make a knife from all of the off cuts in a canister, canister Damascus and I'm going to send it out to a lucky viewer. So stay tuned folks, we're going to make something fun and I think it's cool that for 100,000 subscribers someone will get a knife that is really is comprised of all of those builds. So I think that's pretty cool. So oh, one more thing, just got this in the mail. I think I know what it is. Let's open it. Honey, is this for me? Maybe. You always say it's for me and it never is. Let's find out. So this is from a viewer, um, um, Mike Moran. Uh, and he actually showed me what this is on Instagram. So let's take a look. So Mike does uh, some woodworking and uh, he makes jewelry. And uh, honey, this is for you. <laughs> There's a little uh, a turtle on a necklace. This is amazing. Thanks so much. And there's some other pieces here. T K. How cool is that? Very, very cool. And I think this is, yeah, this is the negative that um, came out of that. So this was cut out of this. So very, very cool. Um, I think this is a negative, maybe it's not. I'll have to take the tape off this and take a look. Thanks so much, Mike. This is an amazing gift and uh, I really appreciate it. And I'm pretty sure this is going to go on my table uh, at Blade um, Tyrell Knifeworks. Thanks guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one.